and the next update is about preschool. Now, preschool is something, and pre-K is something we've talked about a lot down the years, and there's a lot of public dialogue around preschool and pre-K. And, you know, in my judgment, it's not um, a rich or quality dialogue, and it's not very helpful as we look to establish pre-K programs as defined within a K-12 school district. And there's, so there's a definition problem. When cities and, um, and, and states and, and U.S. Department of Ed and try to establish preschool, the definition slips between early education, early intervention, pre-kindergarten, preschool um, in general. And it can be very difficult to establish. Then you have a scenario where, you know, up to about 20 years ago, it wasn't common to have full-day kindergarten, full kindergarten in a lot of districts. And now it's expected that districts provide um, preschool. So a big effort in the district over the past year has been to develop a rational, what I would call a rational model of preschool. And I think we're there finally. Because if you think about how it evolved, it evolved with a, a growth of a Title I grant here, a special education grant there, uh, a joint partnership with, let's say, Head Start over here, and then across a spread of buildings, and then early intervention mandates from the state where um, students, by virtue of their assessments and IEPs, would push in. A very irrational model. That's what we've been dealing with for the past few years. And despite the real crux of the problem was, despite investing a lot of dollars and despite posting a lot of good numbers, we really weren't seeing um, the impact. And one way of looking at that was attendance. We saw that the chronic absenteeism was highest in our, in our uh, preschool classrooms. And because, so the model wasn't wasn't reaching the goals we thought it would reach. But we are very excited that we now have full day, we have a rational model of pre-K. And I think as much as we've described the challenges and our failure to, to maximize the program, I think we now, relative to other gateway cities, will have a higher percentage, we'll have a higher percentage than almost every other gateway city of free full-day pre-K in the coming year. 